hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new so today i want to read an excerpt from one of neville goddard's lectures and part of the reason i want to do this is because as i was recording the lecture it just really resonated with me um, in regards to manifesting and how many people struggle so much with the concept because um, they focus on not having the things that they want to have, right? And the struggles that seemingly come along with trying to get their desires and the truth is it's really very simple um i mean i know that there's things that we sometimes feel as though we have to work through because our minds have been so conditioned um, to believe certain things right and then we re then we put so much emphasis on what is happening externally and we don't need to do that. I didn't know that until what about a year and a half ago. Okay. And, you know, I've been through struggles just like everybody else has. And, um, the, the journey of awakening has been interesting to say the least. <laughs> Uh, there, you know, there are still some underlying beliefs and assumptions that I'm working on as well. There are still some desires that I have that I know are in the process of unfolding. So uh, I can speak from experience uh, in saying that I that I know it's I know it's simple. I know it's simple because I've, I've, I've tried making things happen and um, I know that that is not the way to go. All right, so let me read an excerpt from Neville's lecture and it is called One Greater Than John. If you're interested in reading the lecture, you can go to the resource page on my blog and... Um, Go down to the link that says Neville Goddard Lectures, click on that, and then all of Neville's lectures that I've been able to find um, in PDF or Word format elsewhere on the internet uh, are now on my resource page. So click on Neville Goddard Lectures, and then when the next when the list of lectures comes up, just go to the undated lectures. And again, this one is called One Greater Than John, or you can just search here on my channel and uh, I recorded the lecture. It's about 13 pages, so I recorded it in two parts. Or one of my favorite channels is 100K, what, 100K Watt and I've got their playlist or their channel also uh, linked, on, uh, linked on my, I think, my channel, you go to channels and then you'll see uh, 100K Watt. And that's Neville's lectures uh, in his own voice. All right, so anyway, let me get into this. So if you are trying to manifest certain desires and you are struggling with it, just know that it is actually, it's easier than it seems. It really, really is. Um, sometimes we just forget to relax and go within and just um and just feel into the desire and then and, and know it's done and then just stick with that right if we have doubts just go back to feeling into it feeling into what it would be like to have that desire and then just know that it's done and then just persist in that all right so uh i'm starting on the very last uh, portion of the lecture on page seven. And again, it's about 13 pages. So Neville says, but I'm, he, he was talking about the kingdom of God. And he says, but I'll tell you, 
start it right here. And how do you do it? You clothe yourself with this state, just as though it were true. So any that means any state that you desire, whether it be a state of being wealthy, a state of being healthy, a state of being successful, a state of being in a happy, healthy relationship, um, a state of being um, well-loved by others, a state of being uh, well-known, a state of um, being complimented all the time, no matter what state it is, you clothe yourself in that state. And uh, let's see, he continues with, uh, as you're told, those who really believe do not make. And then it kind of trails off. And he says, if they really believe it, they don't make it so, it is so. So once you have a desire, once that desire comes upon you, believe that it's already yours. Okay, feel into it. Feel into knowing what it would be like to be that person or to have the thing that you want to have. And then just know it's done. So you don't need to do anything to make it happen. As the bridge of events unfolds, whatever needs to unfold in this universe to so that that desire that you have manifests, into your external 3D reality, into your awareness, it's going to happen. And if there's something that you need to do, not by forcefully trying to make it happen, but as events are unfolding, you will feel a you will feel an urge to do something, right? Um, so whatever needs to happen is going to happen and you don't need to force anything. So Neville continues again, if you, if they really believe it, they don't make it. So it is. So that's, and he says, that's when I discussed it with Abdullah and he never discussed it with me. So if you guys are familiar with Neville Goddard, you know, that his, that, a, um, when he wanted to go to Barbados, Abdullah told him that he was in, Barbados and when Neville came back to him and um you know said that he had done the visualization um felt as though he was in Barbados but there he was still in New York Neville or Abdullah didn't discuss it with him and uh so Neville goes on to say when I asked him how would I go there he wouldn't even answer me because what he was trying to show me was if you really are clothed with the feeling of being in Barbados, if you really are clothed with the feeling of having your desire, having what you want to have, being who you want to be, having the things in your life that you want to have, if you are truly clothed in that feeling, you aren't going to discuss it with anyone. That means you aren't going to go looking for answers on YouTube. You aren't going to go looking for answers in books. You aren't going to go looking for answers from other people. You are going to know that it is done. It is so. All right. So uh, Neville goes on to say, again, because what he was trying to show me was, if you really are clothed with the feeling of being in Barbados, how could you and I sit down to discuss how you are going to get there? How could we possibly discuss this? And so he wouldn't discuss it with me. If you really are doing what I told you to do, you say you are in Barbados. Well, then you can't discuss how you are going to go. If I said to you, you are now rich and today you owe rent, can you and I discuss how you are going to become rich if I tell you that you are and ask you to clothe yourself and well? If I ask you to clothe yourself with any state in this world, 
and, the and then it doesn't hatch out tomorrow because tomorrow is not the moment of the hatchling out or of the hatching out. But you're anxious and then you say to me, but where is it coming from? How will it come? Should I really discuss it with you? Okay, so. I have searched the internet just like other people. Um, been on other coaches' channels, etc., looking for answers for things that I wanted to manifest. Um, answers as to why things hadn't come yet. And it finally dawned on me, and I'd actually created a couple other videos prior to this one talking about this. And then as I was recording this lecture today, um, this really hit home with me. And I thought, you know, as, as I sometimes would see the comments on, you know, other channels or even in Reddit forums, what have you, uh, I see a lot of comments where people are saying, you know, but this, but it's not here, but this happened or that happened. And that right there is the answer as to why it hasn't happened for you yet because you're still, you're still wondering. You are not clothing yourself in the state of ha having your desire of knowing that it's already done. So stop searching. Clothe yourself in the feeling, okay? And stop searching because if you have it, if you are it, you don't need to search for it, all right? Just remember that, okay? Anytime you feel anxious, just remember it is already done. So if you feel anxious about it, okay, instead of feeding into the anxiousness, go back to the feeling of having the desire, all right? Being who you want to be, and then stay there. And then if you get back out of the state for whatever reason, go back into the state. Okay? It's part of what mental diet is. All right? When you're bumped out of the state, as soon as you realize you're bumped out, you go back into the state. Whether it be for a few seconds or a minute. Like if, if you're going about your day and you're bumped out of a state and you're starting to feel anxious about a desire, if it, just for a second or two or a minute or two, go back into the state, feel into, no, it's already done. The desire is mine. Everything is unfolding just as it should. And don't feed into the anxiousness. Don't feed into the doubt. Just go back into the state. Clothe yourself in that feeling. Okay, it's all you need to do. It's really all you need to do. And eventually, clothing yourself in that feeling of having your desire, being exactly who you want to be, having everything that you want to have in your life is going to become your natural state. So stop searching. If you're anxious, don't search. If you're doubting something, don't search for the answers. All of the answers are within. Okay, so if you're anxious or you're feeling doubt, you don't need to go look at a book. You don't need to go on the internet and ask all the questions. Well, why is it happening? Why isn't it here yet? How do I do this? How do I do that? You simply clothe yourself in the feeling of it already being done. That's all you need to do. So practice that. Okay, I get doubt. I get anxiousness. I've been there. But just remember, if you're feeling those things, go back into the state that you need to be in, a feeling that it's already done. And do that as often as you can. So don't search. Go within. Clothe yourself in the desire. I don't know how many times I have to say that. <laughs> it's simple. It really, really is. I know it, takes, it can take some practice. But again, the more you practice doing that rather than searching. It's going to become your natural state. And eventually you'll stop doubting. You won't be anxious. 
to just find a sense of peace. You'll rest in that peace and you'll know that it's done. And it's going to show up. It will show up. All right. Just look forward to that. All right. All right. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. Uh, it would be a true blessing. Hopefully help my channel grow. And um, yeah, that's it. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.